Welcome to the Microverse. If you have seen any of my videos, it's likely that you heard the word Springtail, the curious cleanup crew, the cutiful custodians. They are tiny detritivores that keep all my terrariums mold free. But these are orange springtails. I shall try not to butcher this. Yukianura aphororoides. <laughs> you gotta love Latin. A larger, more expensive, and cuter variety. I've always wanted some, but they are super rare to find. So when I found some at my local pet store, I couldn't help myself. Springtails are arthropods, ancient and very successful life forms that have been around for millions of years. In the phylum Arthropoda, they possess an exoskeleton with a cuticle made of chitin? 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 I'm gonna go with chitin. A body with differentiated segments and paired joint appendages. They are an extremely diverse group, with up to 10 million species. These adorable orange guys come from Spain. C. Enclosure. Upon return to the microverse, I set up a bigger container. I used this plastic container. I believe a gradual upgrade is the best way to go. As the colony gets larger, I shall upgrade them accordingly. Substrate. Like most of my builds, I'll be using my ABG mix. It's fluffy and retains moisture while maintaining the air pockets necessary for healthy bacteria and fungi to grow. Heat and humidity. These guys like a temperature range of 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius. I keep the microverse at about 76 Fahrenheit or 24 Celsius, which has been working great for these guys. As they are a humidity loving species, I miss the container daily. I have drilled ventilation holes in the lid so the air doesn't stagnate while the lid is closed and I air out the container every time I check on them, which is almost daily. Feedings. In order to keep growing, they must go through the stages of molding, a process by which they shed their exoskeleton to reveal a new one. Recently, I have been in the habit of giving my springtails, orange and otherwise, a variety of foods. What has been working really well for the orange springtails is a mix of fish food, fluval bug bites to be specific, crested gecko diet, as well as Repashi Calcium Supplement to help them molt. Springtails need calcium for a healthy exoskeleton, so I tend to add a little every time I offer them food. Since I am trying to breed as many as I can, I feed them every two days or so. Letting the magic happen. After everything is all set, all you gotta do is monitor the humidity and make sure you missed only one side of the container. You want them to have access to a humidity grid, so there would be a humid side of the enclosure and a dry side of the enclosure. You can add things to their container or enclosure, stuff like rocks, driftwood, or even some moss. Speaking of moss, if you're a moss-obsessed life form like I am, click here. If you want to see me build stuff, here's a playlist. And if you haven't yet, click, click this button. Yeah, that one there. Yes, that one.